This is William, your favorite videographer. I hope bringing you up-to-date information on the free Major and Bow events. The trial was supposed to happen today on June 24th, 2013, but it was a little fizzle. Let's have Bo bring you up-to-date on what has happened currently and in the past. All right. Well, it's been um, almost a year since Bo and I first got arrested. And Bo's case was heard back in December and he completed all of his requirements in January to have his uh, case dismissed. Um, as you probably remember, he raised about $2,200 for Youth First Texas with an event that he had at the Eagle. But um, my case is just now being heard for the first time today. So my lawyer's already up there probably um, but they really have everybody go in at 9 o'clock. And I, it's my understanding he's supposed to meet with the district attorney today. And if it's like the last time, they'll make some sort of offer. So this is the first rest. So I don't know exactly what they're going to be thinking. They moved me to a different, uh, uh, different uh, court from th 4 to 5 to 7. So, um, you know, I'm not sure what's going to happen. But, you know, at, at 9 o'clock, we'll find out. Great. Thank you. Thanks. We're running. Okay, equal rights is something that every person should feel. Every person should uh, also uh, uh, have because we are all equal in the eyes of God and if we live under the eyes of God and we are people that uh, go by the Bible and go by you know the American dream and all that then we should all have equal rights. Fantastic. Thank all you right, person thank on you. the streets. All right. Basically, this was the first setting um, in um, Major's case. We uh, met with the district attorney. The district attorney is very familiar with this case because she was involved in the first one downstairs in Court 5 for Bo. Um, so she's very familiar with the facts already, and she was anticipating this coming up here. And uh, she's going to work with us the best she can. We're at this point, I can't talk about the actual um, discussions that went on, but I can tell you that uh, we're hopeful and the district attorney's office is hopeful that we're going to work out a deal. Does the Supreme Court decision that's supposed to happen today have any bearing on Bo's case? Um, Unfortunately, it's, it's kind of apples and oranges in this case uh, because uh, the offense that they're charged with is criminal trespass, which is basically, um, and, and the facts involved here were um, them failing to leave a, a civil building when the building closed. And so it, it's an offense that is, you know, allegedly committed under the best of intentions and um, and the heart was certainly in the right place, but it's still a, it's it's still an offense under the law in Texas. Isn't there kind of a domino effect here? If they've been given a marriage license in the first place, they would not have stayed there and gotten arrested. If they would have been able to get a license, they would not have waited there all day. Um, they would not have to go back multiple times to wait there. They would have gotten out of there in about 10 minutes, just like everyone else. Yeah, so, yeah. so the district attorney just wants to look at one specific point, irregardless of the Supreme Court or whether they were they denied a correct marriage certificate. Um, irregardless of why they stay there. But that comes into play in our negotiations. And if we ultimately did go to a, a trial in this case and lost, that would come into play to affect the punishment range. So even though an offense may have been committed here, 
um, at the end of the day, the reason for it was a good-hearted reason. And I think that, more than anything, uh, will help us in our negotiations. Sure, it's uh, Chad West, and I'm, I've represented Bo and now Major, along with uh, two other attorneys here in the, uh, in the Texas area. Bless your heart. Thank you very much. Thank you for doing, coming out today. Thanks. This is William. I hope you enjoyed our update on Major and his Bo's event to free them from all the civil penalties and criminalities and possible jail time. Keep us in mind.